Hi there, welcome back to our series on YouTube brought to you by O3 Schools Jam app. If you are yet to download your app, you're wasting time. Hurry now to Play Store and download your O3 Schools Jam app and you will just be in time for the UTME challenge this weekend. So our topic for today is Moses as a leader. Moses as a leader. So we'll be looking at leadership qualities where we define a leader as a person saddled with the responsibility of, you know, directing a group of people or more relatable to Christian religious studies or for this topic. We said a leader is a person used by God, you know, to lead the Israelites. So we've looked at Joseph as a leader. Today we want to look at Moses as a leader. Now this is documented in Exodus from chapters 1 to 5, and also in Numbers, chapters 13 and 14. First off, we begin with the birth of Moses. The birth of Moses. Now, after the death of Joshua and the Pharaoh that made him second in command, the Israelites remained in Egypt. There they grew you know, strong, they multiplied and they filled the land. The Pharaohs at that time didn't know Joseph and he was afraid that should they, should the Egyptians go into war with, you know, any other people, the Israelites could easily join forces with them and defeat them. So he decided to give them tasks. He set taskmasters, in, he put taskmasters in charge of them and he asked the Israelites to build him supply cities. But the more the afflictions, the more the Israelites grew. This made Pharaoh order the Hebrew midwives to kill the male children and leave only the female children of the Hebrews. But the Hebrew midwives feared God and they refused. Instead, they told Pharaoh that the Hebrew women were not weak. They were very strong. And immediately they gave birth, they, they were able to, you know, stand. So Pharaoh ordered his own people to throw male babies of the Hebrew in the river while the female babies would be free so it was at this point that moses was born when moses was born his mother hid him but after three months she could hide him no more and then she put him in a basket put him in the water and asked his sister to stand afar to check what would happen to the baby and a short while later pharaoh's daughter came to the river to bait and when she heard the baby's cry she knew the baby would be one of the Hebrew children, but she was moved with pity. She didn't want the child to die. First, uh, Moses' sister, rather, Moses' sister came out and told her that she could get a nurse for her. Moses' sister then went to call their mother, and Pharaoh handed over the baby to the mother and even paid her to nurse him. By the time the child was old enough, the mother brought him back to Pharaoh's daughter, and she named him Moses, which means I drew him out of the water. Moses means I drew him out of the water. Now that's it for the birth of Moses. We'll now look at the call of Moses. How did God call Moses? Despite Moses growing up in an Egyptian household, he knew he was a Hebrew. So one day when he was out and he saw an Egyptian beating up a Hebrew, he thought no one was around and he killed the Egyptian and buried him in the sand. Another day he saw two Hebrews quarreling and he, he intervened, wanting to know why brothers should fight when they had, you know, a common enemy, which is the Egyptians. And one of them said to him, do you want to kill me like you killed the Egyptian? So he knew that what he did was no more secret. And when Pharaoh found out, he sought to kill Moses. And Moses ran to Midian. There in Midian, he sat beside a well. And the seven daughters of the priests came to draw water to feed their father's flock. But the shepherds came to trouble them. And Moses stood up for them and even helped them draw water and feed their flock. So when they told their father, their father took in. Moses and even gave him his daughter Zipporah. Zipporah was Moses' wife as a wife. Now, one day, while Moses took out his father in law's flock, an angel of the Lord appeared to him on Mount Horeb. 
Mount Horeb. An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a burning bush, like the bush was in, on fire, it was in flames, but the leaves per se were not consumed. So Moses was scared, and God said to him, Take off your sandals, for you are standing on a holy ground. God then introduced himself to Moses as, you know, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And God told him that he had seen, he had heard, rather, he had heard the cries of the Israelites in Egypt, and he was sending Moses to rescue them. But Moses told God that he was a nobody. Like, who was he to appear before Pharaoh and ask him to free the Israelites? God said, I will go with you. Once again, Moses asked God, who would I tell the Israelites sent me? And God said, tell them I am that I am sent you. And Moses said, what if they don't believe me? God then said, I'll give you three signs which you perform for them. The first sign was that he should draw his rod, drop his rod. And when he dropped it, the rod became a snake. The rod changed to a snake on the ground. And God asked him to pick up the snake by the tail. And when he did, he changed back into his rod. Next, God asked him to put his hand in his bosom. He did. And when he brought it out, his hand was leprous. When he put it back in and brought it out, his hand was whole again. And the last sign, God told him to pour water from the river. from the river on the ground. And by the time the water touches the ground, he changed to blood. So God told him that with all these three signs, they would believe you. Again, Musti still complained. He said he could not talk. And God said, don't worry, I will open your mouth. But still, Moses refused, and God said he would send Aaron to speak for him. So God sent Moses and Aaron. Aaron was now the spokesperson of Moses to rescue the Israelites from Pharaoh and the Egyptians. Then we'll look at Moses as a leader. As a leader. Moses and Aaron went to the Israelites. They went to the elders and they told them all God had said. And they performed all the signs that God asked them to perform. And the Israelites believed. They were happy that finally God had heard their Christ, and he had sent someone to rescue them. So by the time Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and told Pharaoh that God has asked the Israelites to go to the wilderness and, you know, perform a feast for him for three days, Pharaoh refused, just like God told Moses that he would harden Pharaoh's heart. So Pharaoh refused, and instead, he increased the workload of the Israelites. Instead of giving them, providing straws for them, the Israelites now had to go and fetch the straws themselves. And your workload for that day remains the same. Not because you're looking for straw, you will now reduce. No, the same amount of work they were doing before is what was still expected of them. But this time, no straw was provided. For Pharaoh's thought, it was out of idleness. That's why the Israelites were complaining of wanting to go and perform a feast to their God in the wilderness. And then when Moses cried out to God, God sent the 10 plagues to the e Egyptians. And by the 10th plague, Pharaoh finally let them go. And Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. Now look at the achievements of Moses. Here. Say the achievements of Moses. First off, he led the Israelites out of Egypt. Pharaoh led the Israelites out of Egypt, and uh, Moses rather. Then he led them to cross the Red Sea. He led them across the Red Sea. By the time they got to the Red Sea, God had hardened Pharaoh's heart again and he chased after them along with chariots and his army because 
he was like, why, why would we let these people go? And by the time he caught up with the Israelites, they were very close to the Red Sea. And then they became afraid until Moses looked up to God and God asked him to stretch his rod to the Red Sea and he parted. The Israelites were able to walk on dry land while the water closed up on the Egyptians. Next, he led them in the wilderness. Also, he served as a judge. He served as a judge to the Israelites. All these were achievements of Moses. Then lastly, we look at leadership qualities. So we look at the leadership qualities of Moses. One, which is very important, is patience. The Israelites were, you know, they complained a lot. At every given opportunity, they cried to Moses, they blamed him, you know. First off, when God sent Moses to the Israelites, and Moses went to Pharaoh, and Pharaoh said he would not let them go, and he increased their load. Of course, they cried to Moses, who asked him to tell Pharaoh that they wanted to leave, you know, just because... Um, Pharaoh increased their load. And then when they got to the Red Sea, the same thing. Who asked Moses to bring them out of Egypt? He brought them out to kill them. You know, so different, different complaints that the Israelites kept bringing to Moses, even though he was trying to help. So Moses had a lot of patience to have dealt with the Israelites. Then two, humility. According to the Bible, Moses was the only person that had, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversations with God. After Moses, no other person was recorded, but still Moses was humble, especially in his dealings with the Israelites. Then we have obedience. Moses was obedient. He, each time the Israelites cried or complained to him about their circumstances, Moses went to God and asked God for directions and guidance. And everything God told him to do, he did it, except the only time where God asked him to strike the rock the God asked him to speak to the rock and he struck the rock twice. So apart from then, Moses was obedient in carrying out instructions that God gave to him. Then we also have courage. It took a lot of courage for Moses to lead the Israelites, especially in the wilderness, you know, the things that they encountered. Still, he was not afraid. While they were crying and all of that, he was always going to God. There was no time that he joined them to complain and like, oh, God shouldn't have done this to us, you know. So Moses was also courageous. This is it for Moses as a leader. So now we head to the O3 Schools Jam app where we'll search questions on this topic, Moses as a leader. Here's the first one, a 2009 question. When God called Moses to deliver the Israelites, he resisted because he could not speak and he was told to A. Perform some signs with his rod. B. Wait for a sign from God. C. Go with Joshua who would speak for him. D. Go with Aaron who would speak to him. When Moses told God that he could not speak, God asked him to go with Aaron who would speak to him. So our correct answer here is option D. Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? This is a 2010 question now. When Moses resisted God's call with the statement above, it portrayed his A, stubbornness, B, incompetence, C, lack of strength, D, lack of eloquence. That would be B, incompetence. Another question, we have a 2013 question. During Moses' leadership in Israel, he exhibited most importantly the talent of a A, seer, B, preacher, C, mediator, D, warrior. The answer is mediator. Even when God came to, you know, Talk to the Israelites themselves, himself rather. They were scared and they begged Moses to communicate with God on their behalf. So God will communicate with Moses and Moses would relate it to the Israelites. So Moses played most importantly the talent of a mediator, option C. Another question here we have Moses ran away from Egypt after killing an Egyptian because he felt that he might be A, imprisoned by the Egyptian security officers. 
B, killed by Pharaoh of Egypt. C, endangering other Israelites by its actions. D, killed by the Egyptian mob. We have B, killed by the Pharaoh of Egypt. At first, he thought killing the Egyptian was a secret and he buried him in the sand. But people saw him and when he got to Pharaoh, Pharaoh sought to kill him. So he fled because he felt that he would be killed by the Pharaoh of Egypt, option B. So all these are some of the questions I got from the O3 Schools Jam app after searching this topic, Moses as a leader. So you can study and search questions from what you just studied with this app. So do well to download the app. And please don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out when we put out new content. Thank you.